I don't have any problem with any of my films being called female centric because I hope that someday we'll do away with that distinction. I love Pata Look. I thought it's one of the best shows to come out of India. Uh, I love Masaba Masaba and I can't believe how good an actor Masaba is. You are tuned into peepingmoon.com, but there is no best of 2020 till you do not have the best with you. How about having your maths teacher, uh, your mother? No, let's have this Vidya Balan, who's not nut cut or nut cut enough. We'll ask her today. Vidya, welcome. Thank you, Ankita. Vidya, uh, I know 2020 was not probably one of the best years per se. Of course, around us, we have seen a lot of tough times. But then entertainment has been full. And trust me, every celebrity had one single thing to say. It was entertainment, entertainment, entertainment. <laughs> in true Vidya Balan style. If there is one thing which kept us selling was good content. If I have to ask you as an artist, 2023 for you, what was it? You know, it's been a mixed bag really. Like you said, it started out um, confusing us because none of us understood what was happening. Uh, and then, of course, we had to all adapt to the situation, uh, deal with, you know, staying at home, taking care of the house, doing things we've never done before. But the good thing has been the content. Like you said, entertainment, entertainment, entertainment. You know, I think we've all enjoyed all kinds of content thanks to the OTT platforms uh, and, of course, television. But I think the OTT has been a real revelation, you know. Um, and I've had some of my favorites, a uh, favorite, um, I've had, I've watched some shows that have made it to my list of favorites this year. And it's been fantastic. You know, for Shakuntala, we did virtual promotions. And I could have never imagined that, but that was also fun. And that was also exhausting. So I think, you know, um, there have been a lot of learnings this year. And uh, yes, like you said, it's been a tough year, but I consider myself blessed because um, it was less tough for me than a lot of people. Um, so I'm very, very grateful for that. Vidya, you had two uh, starkly different performances. Um, we had a Shakuntala on one hand, we had Nathkut on the other. Uh, if I have to ask you, uh, I know it's difficult to pick a favorite, but if you have to just give me a differentiation between the two how would you sum it up like it was day and night absolutely and you know um in nakhat it was a very quiet performance you know because um the kind of woman surekha is she doesn't really have a voice especially when she's around the men in her family you know it's um, the reality of most women in this country. So I think that was completely new for me. Uh, but Shakuntala is something that's more me, you know, lively. And she's someone who's very inspiring to me. Uh, through the course of the film, I got to know so much more about Shakuntala Devi, the person. And I think the more I got to know about her, the more inspired I felt as a woman. So I definitely think I enjoyed Shakuntala Devi completely while Nakhat made me angry as a woman. Uh, and made me feel helpless and made me feel like, you know, for one scene I had to wear the gungat on my face and it was such an uncomfortable feeling and there are women who walk around, live their lives under that gungat, for God's sake. Vidya, I was talking to a couple of performers and everybody said it to me, like, when it comes to, because we were discussing yours also with a few of them, that uh, I, they're like, it's only Vidya's film, maybe, we probably don't want to call it female-centric, because it's, when it's Vidya, then it's Vidya. Do, do you take this as a compliment? Because I think yours was probably one of the only few films where we had you, like, I would just say a good, central, strong character. Let's not call it female-centric. A good, central, strong character. Well, that's music to my ears. I love the sound of that. 
um, I don't have any problem with any of my films being called female centric because I hope that someday we'll do away with that distinction. So I'm very happy that you're saying it's just, you know, if someone said it's just a Vidya Balan film, oh, that's very, very flattering. Uh, Vidya, quickly, then if I have to ask you, what was uh, the work you saw this year? I know Pandemic must have given you a little bit of time to catch up on something, maybe on OTT or films. Uh, if you could just run through what was Vidya's uh, diary of content, what it could be. So I love Pata Look. I thought it's one of the best shows to come out of India. Uh, I love Masaba Masaba and I can't believe how good an actor Masaba is. You know, uh, that's been a real revelation. Uh, I enjoyed Scam thoroughly, even though I know nothing about the share market. It had me glued to my seat throughout. So I think these are some of the shows that I really enjoyed. Indian made shows, Indian shows. Lastly, want to tell me any other content which you might have seen be down south to across the globe, which you think was really inspiring in a manner. You know, I watched uh, this anthology of films in Tamil called Pava Kadagal, uh, which I absolutely loved. Um, and really hats off to everyone who was part of that film and who made that film possible and to RSVP films. You know, what a fantastic film to back. And, uh, you know, I watched a show called Borgen, which I think has one of the best performances by a female actor ever, by some Babette Krutzel. She's absolutely marvelous. And lastly, with there, one last thing. Um, uh, good, bad, ugly, call it what may. Our performances of female characters, if I would have to put it in 2020, were delicious. Uh, some of them were not even in the lead parts, but they were, I would say, as delectable as it could get. If you had to pick maybe one performance, I know hypothetically, but you would have like done in a heartbeat moment. If you would have swapped it, would you have swapped the performance with someone? Just no. hypothetically. <laughs> no, because you know, when you see a good performance, you can't imagine anyone including yourself in that performance. So I think a good performance is one that leaves no scope for you to imagine even yourself doing that role. But that's so sweet. Thank you so much, Vidya. Thank, Thank you for you. taking out time for this. I hope the new year is the best one for you. And next time, we hope it's not virtually. And for all of us, I hope 2021 is the best year yet. I'm sure it will be. Yeah. And I hope Thank this you. is how much virtual things we love. But I would prefer next time to see you in person and talk to you about films and cinema. Even so. I agree. I agree. Absolutely. Here's to the and next time. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you, Ankita. Bye. God bless. Bye.